Okay, so today we're going to be graphing. Um, we're just going to start off with sine, and so this video is just about graphing sine. And cosine and sine are actually pretty much the same procedure. Obviously, the graphs are going to look a little bit different because uh, they're different functions, but the procedure is pretty much going to be about the same. Um, so if you can do any of these for sine, you'll be able to do them for cosine. Right, so um, here I have my graph. Um, it's a little bit like if I did this, you could see, oh, there's the x-axis, there's the y-axis. We're not really too concerned about negative values here, so I have my graph exaggerated like this. Now, if you think about it, we can find any value for, uh, we can plug in anything for x, right? We can plug in 0, 1, 2, 3, but over here I have like my unit circle. If you think about like the sine of pi over 4, that's going to be root 2 over 2. If I gave you a graph and I told you to graph root 2 over 2, you probably sweat a little bit and complain maybe. But um, you can avoid that by doing like the four corners of a unit circle. So this is 0, that's pi over 2, this is pi, this is 3 pi over 2, and this is 2 pi. These are all, of course, in radians. Sine is the y value, so sine here is 0, sine here is 1, sine here is 0, sine here is negative 1, and sine again is 0. You can see that these values go between 0, 1, 0, negative 1 in this circle. And that's pretty much what this is. When I graph this, I'm going to have my maximum of 1, my maximum, or my minimum of negative 1. And I'm basically going to graph these points. Well, here this is where the, this is the origin, so that's 0. And then I'm going to have pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, 2 pi. So that's additional 4 points. So just like this. So again, I'm going to have pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. So if I graph these, again, sine of 0 is 0. Sine of pi over 2, that's 1. Sine of pi is 0. Sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. And sine of 2 pi is 0. When I graph these, I want to make sure that these are curved. You don't want to do just straight lines between them. <laughs> like that kind of looks like, right? All right, let's try that again. Uh, drawing this on a computer is not the easiest thing in the world. A little bit rounded off, yeah. So it's going to look like a wave. And actually, if I complete this, I'm going to have... Um, it's, it's just... If I copy and paste at this, it would look the exact same thing going on towards infinity. This is a wave. With waves, we have important pieces. We have um, how long it takes back to get to the original position, like one cycle. We call that a period. And we have how high it gets from, you know, midpoint. So this distance here from zero to its maximum, that is the amplitude. These are two important characteristics here. So if we have that the period, uh, we can find that by the formula 2 pi over b, and we can find the amplitude by the absolute value of a. Where this comes into play, see how I have y equals sine of x? The general formula is this, y equals a times sine of b times x. So b is the coefficient of x. Here we can see that this is really a 1x. So b is 1, so 2 pi divided by 1 is 2. 2 pi, sorry. <laughs> Uh, here, this is 1 times sine, so again, a is 1, so the amplitude is 1. So it's pretty cool how that works out, right? Well, let's take a look at an example. I have the same sort of setup here of y equals 2 times the sine of, oh, I don't know, let's say 2x. So if we find out these positions first, so the amplitude is going to be 2. And the period, period, <laughs> is going to be equal to 2 pi 
over b, b in this case is 2, so I get the period is pi. What we want to do is we want to again sort of treat this as um, a circle. We're going to divide this into fourths. Now imagine instead of going from 0 all the way to 2 pi, we go from 0 to pi. Then halfway would be pi over 2, a quarter of the way would be pi over 4, and 3 quarters of the way would be 3 pi over 4. So actually, getting these values here, that's what I put in for my graph. So the amplitude, again, is going to be 2 and negative 2. And then if I graph these four points here, I'm always going to start with 0, but then the other four points, it's going to go up to the period. That's going to be, in this case, pi. And then so I start with pi over 4, pi over 2, and 3 pi over 4. It doesn't really make sense how that works out. Remember, we're taking all of these x values and we are multiplying them by 2. All right, so here we go. So 0. Well, 2 times 0 is still 0. Sine of 0 is 0. And 2 times 0 is 0. So there we go. Pi over 4, right here. 2 times pi over 4. Well, 2 times pi over 4, these reduce and I get pi over 2. Well, isn't that the same position here? That's 90 degrees. The sine of pi over 2 is 1. So I have 2 times 1, which is 2. Oh. Pi over 2, if I have 2 times pi over 2, right? 2 times x, 2 times pi over 2, that's just pi. The sine of pi is, again, 0. Uh, next up, I have 2 times 3 pi over 4. This is going to give me 3 pi over 2. So 2 times 3 pi over 4 is 3 pi over 2. Sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. Times 2 gives me negative 2. And of course, sine of 2 pi is 0. So actually, we get pretty much the same graph. And actually, um, if I were to overlay this, right, and these should be rounded out, it's just a computer drawing. If I overlay these, look at how similar these pictures are. I mean, they're pretty much the exact same. It's the exact same shape. It's the exact same wave. What I manipulated was the points on the x-axis. And I found those by making sure my last point was my period, and I just sliced that into fourths. When I slice that period into four, uh, it's going to work out nicely that whatever this b value is, when I multiply, I'm always going to get the four corners of that unit circle. Pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. So the same thing can apply with cosine, and it, it works the exact same way. Of course, your graph will look a little bit different. So this is your general formula, so make sure you know it, and make sure you know how to find a and how to find b. Once you know that, Graphing becomes simple.